good. How's the coffee? It's nice. Hmm? It's what coffee is it? It's not Nescafe. Te. It's not Nescafe. <laughs> it's not Blue Tokai. It's not Blue Tokai. David or? Nope. Then what it is? It's Impulse Coffees. <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? I didn't know. even think it would be coffee. What's up? Welcome to Vlogmas 2021. It's the most wonderful time of the year. 25 days leading up to Christmas and 25 days of non-stop Saragi Barbar. This year's Vlogmas is going to be epic and it begins with the most, most awaited video on my channel. The most important video I think I've ever filmed on my channel and that is the reveal of the launch of my very first brand. I am launching my own coffee brand oh my god i have waited so long to say this and i'm so so proud to present to you guys impulse coffees now that the cat is finally out of the bag i can sit back relax and i'm gonna sip on my cup of coffee right here my impulse coffee that y'all are gonna be sipping on real soon and share with y'all everything that went behind making impulse coffees and bringing it to life my main reason behind starting vlogmas this year with impulse coffees launch video and actually telling y'all everything that happened behind the scenes not just telling y'all but showing y'all how i built my company from scratch was the fact that i have been on this platform for the majority of my career changing years. I've been here since I was 17. You'll have seen me go to med school, give my exams, pass out of med school, seen my graduation day, seen me struggle in the pandemic. You've seen my outfits being built from scratch and you've seen the entire Sara Squad studio being built from scratch. Anyone who's an OG Sara Squad knows how far we have come this year and I just wanted to culminate this year with this launch. I really wanted you all to be a part of every single step that I took towards building this company you'll have seen me grow from a little Sarah who did not know what she was doing with her life I was just doing everything that life offered me and today I can so proudly tell you that I have been able to channel all my energies channel everything that life offered me to build this and that is the most important thing that impulse coffees brings it gives me direction that this is what I was supposed to do I want you all to know that sky is the limit you guys you all can aim and achieve for anything and possibly get there because if I could do it so can you Let's rewind a little bit and come back to how we thought of building a coffee brand, okay? A lot of y'all, when I started hinting the future project, thought it was makeup or skincare or lifestyle or merch and whatnot. Very few, I would say like, you know, 10% of y'all thought, 10% bhi nahi, 5% of y'all thought, ki ha, coffee hai, I think it's Sara, it's coffee. But very, very few of y'all thought till I started dropping hints. And those 5% people were so on point because yes, you guys, if I need to do business, I knew if I want to launch a brand it has to be something I'm super passionate about because it's very difficult to launch a brand and be able to sustain that business and I don't want to do something I'm not fully driven towards and yes makeup skincare excites me a lot but what excites me the most what I wake up thinking of is my cup of coffee I've always had a very healthy relationship with coffee it starts way back when you know my nani started giving us coffee on the breakfast table filter coffee is like my nani's thing like utte ke nani ki coffee was filter coffee so nani ki ghar pe to milti thi nashte ke saath to even though I was probably too young to be having coffee we were still having nani ki filter coffee at home and that relationship just went on to grow and grow and become a need and necessity when I was in med school I used to sit up late at nights and study I would go on one hour two hours of sleep uh, to be able to go and give my exam for me that good cup of coffee is so important good being the very operative word in the statement because if I have bad coffee it can wreck my mood like I literally go from 100 to 0 if you give me a bad cup of coffee so that thought and kira was always there in my head that one day I will have my own coffee that I can make you drink and be like yeah lo yeah meri coffee achi hai jaise banaogi achi and that is what Impulse Coffees is about. Diving into food as an industry was tricky. I knew I was going to get myself involved in a lot of legal and a lot of licensing stuff that I possibly did not have the savings for. I was not ready financially or mentally also for this because that was the time in my career when I didn't know that if I was going abroad for my masters, I didn't know if I was going to continue practicing as an OT. I was just all over the place with my career so I just shelved this thought aside. It was there in my head but I would never really entertain Somewhere around Jan and Feb of this year 2021 I had this very very long conversation with one of my friends and we discussed at 
length at how the pros and cons of me going abroad would be right now with what options I have currently and with COVID and everything and we finally just ditched the idea that I'm not going abroad for my masters and when that was out of the picture I was like now what you know now I'm staying in India now I need to make the best of the options that are available here to me now it's time for me to be able to take everything off my bucket list of things that I want to do with my life and that is when the drive to be able to do impulse coffees just kept intensifying I started saving and I started putting aside some amount of money to be able to do it the right way because I didn't want to do any sort of jugaad for this I knew if I want to start my company it had to be clean off the slate there had to be no jugaad happening here and for that I wanted the best legal team I could hire while that was going on of course my product had to be the hero also so that is when I started the hunt for my manufacturers I was still in college I had still not moved into the SSS my internship was still going on but on the sidelines I was testing out coffee that I was constantly calling in from manufacturers all over India but today I felt like we did some concrete work today we are standing on what just the 23rd of August 2021 and I still have so many months ahead of me and we've just taken the baby steps today we finalized our graphic designer finalized our lawyer finalized our manufacturer but these are the main steps right and now we can actually start working with these people so i'm very excited to see where this goes because the visions i have are endless but i needed people to like put these in place now i have like the major work to do that is sorting out my finances because all my savings that I actually made for Impulse, I'm putting in the car right now. I'm watching this in the future, so you know I've bought my car abhi. So I have all my savings in my car ke down payment. Mein dal so I have to recycle now and see how I'm going to save up in the future months. And just as the money will come, I will have to leave it. Well, I had to decide which quality of coffee I wanted to do. Do I want to do instant coffee? Do I want to do ground coffee? Triple A grade, double A grade, Arabica, Robusta. There's so much of studying that went behind starting Impulse Coffees as a brand. You know how I. I am when I have to buy a small thing to I have to start a complete business. I have studied ki. I studied everything there was to study about coffee so that when I'm talking to these manufacturers, I know my stuff. But still, a lot of them would not take me seriously. Number one, being a woman-owned business is not easy. A lot of people don't take you seriously, period. And number two is also because they deal in volumes. So I did not have the commitment to make to them for such big, large volumes. But how did I make my samples from every place? And after every sample, ko taste karne ke baad, Pele round of tasting me. I was disappointed. I was just so disappointed because anything that I tasted, I'm not saying that everything was bad. There was good coffee, but it was AVG, you know, it was like average. It was something that I've already tasted off the market. It is already there and being sold by other brands. And I was like, I don't want to do something that others are already doing. After the first round, somewhere around March, April, I was fully disappointed. I gave up and I was like, nahi karna hai. Chodo do, nahi karna hai mujhe. I rented the space out. I made the SSS and I was like, okay, content creation it is. We are doing content creation. And that is when I even took up a job as an artist, I was like, yeah, do cheese karungi. I know how to do these two best. I don't know how to do business. Let me not do it. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of coffee, if you will. <laughs> and I just let it go. When I would sit at the SSS all alone, jab mere koi nahi hota tha in and around me, I would think and brood over my thoughts and feel like, you know, is it wrong of me to let go? Something that I've been so passionate and driven towards because every waking day I would think about it, but I was not working towards it. And my friend always tells me it's something that you can keep with yourself also. That if it's troubling your night's sleep, then it's definitely worth working towards. And so I started the process of testing all over again. I did not contact any of the manufacturers that I already had. I went to a new set of manufacturers. After months of hunting, I finally found my manufacturer who was understanding what I was saying, who was ethically sourcing from South India, which again was so important to me to be a company that is made in India. We've spoken so much about the Ethiopian and the South African and the Tanzanian and this and that and yes all of that is good but darling South Indian coffee is amazing. It's mind-blowingly good and I just want it to be fresh off the fields of South India. Perfect balance of flavor and caffeine. The right caffeine kick. No shikari whatsoever in my coffee. Everything that I was trying to explain to this guy he was understanding and I was like this is it. This is my manufacturer. Of course because I was customizing stuff with him he was excited expensive it was a plunge to be able to go ahead with a manufacturer who was more expensive than anybody else that I had tried but I was like I want to do this trying to strike the right balance between flavor and coffee was very important because a lot of flavored coffee that I tried on the market is so much flavor that the coffee kick just goes away it just feels like chocolate milkshake or bon vita or something like that I didn't want my coffee to be that we have mocha ka B variant in this and mocha ka C variant in milk which Anu is going to taste and I'm going to taste my Americano and see 
which variant wins which mocha will win and yeah. if neither wins then mocha ek ke liye rukna padega ayyo ye dil wait na nahi hota hai nahi nahi achhi lagi sugar dali wo jo maine pehli try ki thi na wo zyada better thi theek hai hmm मुझे कुछ आफ्टर टेस्ट जैसा आ रहा है ना आई एम नॉट लाइकिंग दैट आफ्टर टेस्ट इसमें ब्लैंड हाँ तो वो ये वाली है ये वाली है वो हाँ दिस इज आउट This so even I was like not considering. I don't want to have a preconceived notion about this. Let's see. एक एक टेस्ट बट को लगना चाहिए ऐसा इट्स नॉट बैड एक्चुअली यू ड्रिंक आई डोंट वॉन्ट गिव यू अ दिस फिर मेरे मेरे उससे तो वो नहीं नहीं चल चल कभी कभी वैसा ऐसा भी होता है जो पसंद आ जाता है ना वो पसंद आ जाता हाँ, है तो ऐसा भी होता है अरे मुझे वो हिट लगना चाहिए लाइक माय अनफ्लेवर्ड कॉफी हैज टू बी अ बंच ऑफ कॉफी लाइक यू नो एंड दिस इज नॉट एज इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ पंच इट डज नॉट हैव एज मच पंच एज दैट दैट वन दिस इज दिस इज ओजी ब्रो दिस इज रियली रियली गुड So let's not hinder the OG. This is really, 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 really good. Like, I can see it on her expression. Yeah, on you. Like, step, uh-huh. Mood change ho gaya tera. Main thakhi bhi ho, toh mera wo uh-huh. chahiye. At this point, I want this coffee. If somebody gives me this, I'll be irritated. I knew I was sure of my coffee, but every single person that walked into the SSS was a guinea pig for tasting my coffee. But why it's not even like a sweet? But that sweet to nahi rega us mukha hai. What crazy bro. Genuinely, right? Genuinely, it's too good. Chalda, first reaction. सच्ची सच्ची बोला बोला मैंने पहले वाला पसंद नहीं आता था 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 था। था। पहले वाला मेरे को भी नहीं अच्छा लगा था नहीं कुछ अच्छा नहीं था वो तो ना Not even that, and 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 the 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 flavor 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 is 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 not 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 overpowering. What I like is like 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 also there, but a a coffee coffee lover would love it because yeah. it's strong. It's strong. strong. It's it's strong. strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. But when I tasted this flavor, I was there. I have to launch with this. That this has very to be there. Nice. Is that very? And mocha is my flavor of choice. Cause me, Sabak bhi jaati to mocha java chip, mocha java chip is like a thing. Na, the mocha apne taste buds ko wo hota hai. मैंने ऐसा किया नहीं है बहुत time. At least manufacturer finalized हो गया, bro. At least one step check. The first one to try it with almond milk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you're, then. you're my only vegan person. Because <laughs> even I have that, and I like it. Okay, good now taste. Honest review, ah. Huh? The mocha is really nice. Really nice. The mocha is very very good, and it doesn't taste like instant coffee, wala. I really like it. I love the flavoring on this one. That's why I was. It's like, not like that artificial mocha. I really like it. Actually, I usually put more sugar than this, but I don't need it. Oh my god. I know. Vanilla is all over the oh aroma. Oh my god. I really like that. It's so strong. It I can smell so it till you. Like I don't even have to get it under my nose. And I think uh, my favorite is now vanilla. Dude, every time I used to drink coffee, pehle it was a stress buster. I used to drink coffee because I used to be stressed and it used to relax me. Ever since I decided to start Impulse and I started testing samples, I have been concentrating so much. Ek ek good coffee ki pita samay, I'm like, is it perfect? Is it how I want it? Is the roast proper? Is the kick coming in? Am I feeling awake? Is it too addicting? Am I wanting to go back to this? Which flavor am I liking the most? 
the amount of analysis happening in my head is crazy and ever since i finalized my flavors like now i'm drinking my final mocha blend har baar peete samay i'm like wo waisi hai na jaisa maine finalize ki thi us um ab main apne final batch rollouts karwa rahi hu i'm so anal and perfectionist about this because i just can't have it wrong you know i can't there are too many wrong coffees on the market mine has to be just right okay so update is only one update we finished all the four agreements Okay. We're just reviewing them and we're sharing it with you in the next by seven or eight pm. Uh, for proprietorship, is there something separately that has to be done for impulse? We are applying for GST. We will be applying for tan number also. All the rest of plans will be taken care of. Then I have sent you all the documents, and we can go ahead with our registration, right? Everybody is on the same page now with this now. Okay, I'm done. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. You. I think legal and finance has only drowned me so much now. Like meetings with my CA, meetings with my lawyer, they are overwhelming because I don't have that much business knowledge to begin with. My business knowledge is was zero actually before I started researching, and I'm very grateful that I come from my dad. <laughs> I come from my dad, so at least like I have somebody who can comment out for me. I edit my video now because that's what I know how to do best. <laughs> बट यू नो गाइज हर चीज सीखना पड़ता है वीडियो एडिटिंग भी मुझे कभी आती नहीं थी मतलब डिजिटल का ए ए बी सी भी नहीं आता था पावर पॉइंट यूज करने भी नहीं आता था स्कूल में आई वॉज द वर्स्ट एट पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड जस्ट चिपका टू माई सिस्टर एंड टेलर टू मेक माई पीपीटीज एंड आई वुड नॉट डू इट बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट मोटिवेटेड एंड आई नीदर डिड आई केयर अबाउट द पीपीटी प्रेजेंटेशन एंड ट्वेंटी मार्क्स एंड कंप्यूटर एग्जाम गेव फॉर दैट बट देन आई लर्न वीडियो एडिटिंग वन फाइन डे एंड नाउ आई एडिट ऑन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सॉफ्टवेयर देर इज ऑन द मैक बुक आफ्टर द कॉफी ब्रांड थिंग वॉज फाइनलाइज द नेम ऑफ द ब्रांड हेड इट्स ओन स्वीट जर्नी नाउ आई डि नॉट नो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू इन्वॉल्व माइंड name in it because i did my own fair share of research and i knew if i was launching a coffee brand it was going to be india's first content creator owned coffee brand and that in itself gave me goosebumps and i was like i don't know if i want to involve my name when it's a content creator owned brand it's super personal because you try out that particular thing so much to the point that you're so so sure of what you want or don't want in that product and that was me with coffee because i've tried so much of coffee on the market and as i have slowly and steadily migrated from being a purely beauty creator to bring a beauty and lifestyle creator and you all have got ahead and seen my love affection and bond that i have towards my coffee and how much i know my coffee like there's a certain way how i like my coffee to be so do i want it sara's coffee sara squad coffee there was a lot of back and forth do i want to get my name involved but finally i decided that i want the company to stand alone i want it to be independent of itself there have to be hints of me present inside the company but they don't have to be screaming that yes it's sara sarosh's brand so that's when i was like how do i feel when i have coffee you know maybe that's how i want to name it so the first name i actually thought for the company was the name revival now revival is is how i feel about having coffee you know i kept telling you all how i feel revived recharged after having coffee one one word one impactful word and it was also inspired by selena gomez's song but that was already taken revival coffee has already been taken it's not a brand but it's been very well marketed by this texas owned cafe and again i didn't want to do something that's already being done by somebody else plus it's very difficult to get the trademark of the company when the name is already taken one day while having a shower in the bathroom it suddenly jumped out to me i was like impulse imp Impulsive is literally my trait as an Aquarius. My vlogs have screamed that back and forth, and again and again. It's a hint of me in the brand while being so apt to being a coffee brand. It has a very good ring to it, like Impulse Coffees. And I came out running of the bathroom. I wrapped myself in a towel. First took my laptop, and I searched it up to see if the name is taken. So I was so quick to see that Impulse Coffees is not taken. I immediately messaged all my friends. I was like, Bro, Impulse Coffees. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And they were like, It sounds epic. and that was it that was impulse coffees we were so excited once we had the name finally we were like this is it khatam abhi idhar se khatam everything is going to be super easy after this but the ball had just started rolling this is not our tagline no, but if not hustle in our tagline then how do we convey the message coffee words kya hote hain water pour brew jaise impulse instant
Come on, drink it. I want you. I don't even know which flavors I've given you all. Drink and if let's see if I can. Did you drink it? This is this is this is uh, chocolate something something. something. Raspberry. Yeah. मुझे पागल बना रही है बहुत refreshing है. Hmm. Yeah yeah this, this is chocolate very raspberry. Refreshing. Chocolate raspberry is different this is only. Very refreshing. Like इसका after taste is. It's like अपना बचपन ना है ना मेरे को बहुत बचपन की याद लाता है chocolate raspberry. You have to master this particular symbol. So we're like. Hmm. अगर पैकेजिंग पे तो दोनों आने फिर उनका यूजेज हमको लिमिट करना पड़ेगा जैसे तेरे वेबसाइट पे तू इधर लोग फॉर एग्जाम्पल तेरा वेबसाइट का ये हेडर ये तो इधर तेरा लोग होगा इधर इम्पल्स कॉफीज लिखा होगा बट नहीं तेरे कप में सिर्फ लोगों के एक्सट्रैक्शन होंगे या तेरे फिर कोई कोई लाइक कोई कोई जगह पे सिर्फ इम्पल्स कॉफीज लिखा होगा तो बहुत दीज हैव टू बी इक्वली स्ट्रॉन्ग लाइक दोनों का वेट सेम होना चाहिए अगर मेरे को सिर्फ इम्पल्स कॉफीज देखा तो भी मेरे को पता है क्या मेरे को सिर्फ सिंपल देखा तो मेरे को पता है वो इम्पल्स करेक्ट तो उसके लिए लाइक ठीक है लाइक दिस फॉन्ट लुक्स गोड ये मेरे को चेंज करना पड़ेगा दिस लोगो लाइक दिस इज थोड़ा व्यूअर लोगो लाइक दिस इज नॉट लोगो दिस इज वेरी बेसिक कैपिटल चाहिए नहीं 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 स्मॉल लेटर्स ही अच्छा लग रहा था हम्म येलो जम रहा यार ये तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी अपना अभी 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 इतना टेंशन मत ले कलर्स कलर्स लाइक बहुत अरे बहुत अरे फर्स्ट राउंड पे है का इतना स्ट्रेस नहीं This was so different than anything I had ever seen on the market. This was so unique and so me. It was still fun. It gave me this nostalgic vibe with the font because I'm a '90s baby. I really wanted that to reflect the coffee bean that we have on our logo. It's so unique that when you look at it, you don't instantly think coffee bean. But when you put it together with Impulse Coffees, yes, it strikes that it's a coffee bean. It has that slight hint of pulsation, the right amount of yin yang balance, and right over there we have our tagline, and that is experience the hustle because that hustle with Sar you. 
and I, we hustle together and now it's finally time that you can taste and experience the hustle yourself. I finally narrowed it down and decided to do instant coffee because as much as I love the entire cafe like experience that ground coffee creates at home, it's a lot of work. It's simply a lot of work. You need to invest in the machinery, you need to be able to clean those filters every day. It's very high maintenance and honestly I got no time to be able to do it. So that's when I decided that I want to do instant coffee but just because I'm doing instant coffee doesn't mean you cannot have the cafe like experience the entire experience of making your coffee has to still be packed in one jar now when we had to decide on what jar we want to get for the coffee oh my god that was an entire process and a half in itself that is the most challenging I would say process that I faced with impulse coffees is how I want to be able to deliver it because when I chose glass which is the most obvious way to roll with instant coffee a lot of people advise me against it because glass is going to break in logistics it's going to give me a lot of trouble everybody knew it it's heavier it's more costly in shipping and all of that so i started looking into other options but uska upar ka ye rakh na side mein hi acha iska ye acha hai the gusset this is i think called the gusset bag yellow looks so good on this it look at this yellow na too much not too less yeah the blue also looks really good ये बहुत मस्त है देखिए जैसे पीछे इंग्रेडिएंट्स है दिस शेड ऑफ येलो डजंट लुक नो नो शी पैकेजिंग इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स सो इंपॉर्टेंट ना ताकि मेरा डिजाइनर उस पर मतलब डायलाइन तो इसका फर्स्ट हमें डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा कि कौन सी डिजाइन आपको करवानी है मुझे फुल मैट पैकेजिंग ही चाहिए मतलब ये रेफरेंस में ये ब्रांड का आई हैव पिकड अप तो हमको ये अच्छा लगा मतलब ये और इसमें कुछ फर्क है क्या अच्छा इसमें कैन वी गेट वन साइड ट्रांसपेरेंट मतलब मैं बहुत उसके लिए आना एमओक्यू बहुत ज्यादा होनी है 20000 से ज्यादा क्या है एमओक्यू होता है भैया इतनी तो मेरी प्रोडक्शन भी नहीं है जितना आप पैकेजिंग में रख कलेक्ट होने वाला है तो क्या क्वांटिटी में होगा अगर मुझे ट्रांसपेरेंट करना है 30000 आप मुझे एक फुल ब्रेक डाउन कोटेशन दे दो आपका बेस्ट प्राइस देखो ये मेरा स्टार्टअप है अभी दिस इज ओनली दिस स्टार्ट जितना कुछ ना कुछ और ना अभी पैकेजिंग का पूरा मैंने कोटेशन वगैरह निकाली तो ये तो कितने यूनिट्स मतलब कितना महंगा पड़ रहा है पहली बार तो बीस हजार एम ओ क्यू इज दिनिमम ऑर्डर मतलब बीस हजार का अपने को ऑर्डर देने का तो सेवन एंड हाफ रुपीज के हिसाब से अराउंड वन एंड वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव लैक समथिंग ओके एडिशनली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस पोर्शन कस्टमाइज लाइक इवन फॉर द कलर ऑफ माई फ्लेवर और राइट एनी थिंग लाइक तमाना फ्रॉम डिजाइन परसपेक्टिव वेबसाइट और समथिंग ऑन दिस ऑन द साइड देन यू हैव थर्टी थाउजेंड एम ओ क्यू का ऑर्डर का ऑर्डर दी मतलब टू एंड हाफ लैक इन टू पैकेजिंग आई फोट इट बट दैट मीन थर्टी थाउजेंड पैकेज रेडी दैट मीन एनी मिस्टेक इन माई पैकेजिंग इफ आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क वो करने की लिमिटेशन हो जाएगी बार कोड खरीदना पड़ता है एटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज इज द कॉस्ट फॉर हंड्रेड बार कोड इन द गवर्नमेंट सिस्टम अडिशनली अगर सपोज अपने को इस पर कलर तो इनका जो डिफॉल्ट है ना मैट व्हाइट मैट ब्लैक ये दो डिफॉल्ट पैकेजिंग है इस पर तुम साइड में अगर कुछ भी करवाना चाहो ना तो वो तो थर्टी थाउजेंड एम ओ क्यू इसके ऊपर और आगे पीछे अगर अपने को प्रिंट कराने का है तो हर कलर का दस हजार एक्स्ट्रा क्योंकि वो सिलेंडर वो वन टेन कॉस्ट है सिलेंडर का बट वो दस हजार एक्स्ट्रा तो इनिशियली पैकेजिंग लाइक दिस इज कॉस्टिंग मे अ बिग बक इट्स ऑल्सो प्रोडक्शन टाइम इज थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी डेज सो यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग द काइंड ऑफ मैथ दैट आई बिन डूइंग सिंस मॉर्निंग एंड गोइंग मैड एंड उस पर पप्पा मेरे को कॉल करके बोलते संगार अंदर सिक्स ए में फ्लैट दिखा रहे तो तू आ रहा है ये घर के नल बदल रही हो आई एम प्रॉब्लिंग यू बोलो क्या सजेशन ओके सो आई एम से इंस्टेड ऑफ यू इन्वेस्टिंग लाइक दिस इज this is okay it is the thing is this is just the uh, transportation is being solved in this matlab in this you are you are not glass bottles karu bole happen beta all these take things take time 
just saw how the MOQ was killing me when it came to those pouches and packets and that's the kind of commitment I was not ready to make with my company. I also want to be conscious as a company, glass is eco-friendly, these packets are not eco-friendly and the amount of wastage you generate is a lot because if those flavors are not selling then those packets go completely into waste. I also very strongly consider tin bottles. It was almost finalized that we tinny tin and Tamana had designed the bottle. I designed the whole design and we knew that this is what we are doing. They were airtight tin containers and they were beautiful tin containers and I was so excited about it and just one final evening I was at my friend's place at his office and his production manager walks in and it's not a coffee company but she had worked at a coffee company before so she just happened to ask me can you show me your container is it airtight so I was like yeah yeah it's airtight I have tested it myself I've you know pressed it and opened it and checked it's airtight but she was like, no, this is not airtight. Inside this instant coffee will stick. And I was like, what do you mean? It will not stick. It's airtight. She was like, no, moisture seeps in. And instant coffee ka biggest issue is this only that moisture gets in and it sticks. You know, when we open those sachets of instant coffee that we travel with and if you don't use it, it immediately chipak jati hai because moisture lag jata hai. And if you don't store instant coffee properly, then the shelf life is really reduced. That very fine evening, I come home and I have so many samples, right? I have so many samples test kar rahi Sare hi maine kitchen mein samples dekhi and jitne mere plastic jars pouches and tin container mein bhi jo bhi tha sab kuch chipak ke hard ho gaya tha and the only coffee samples that i had since over 6 months in the glass bottle were fresh they were fresh and the shelf life was long and i was like nothing doing scrap everything tamanna start from scratch we need to transfer this entire design into a glass bottle because that's what we finalized so with that i want to close out today's video i know i spoke so much but ye sara to khali episode 1 tha boss Episode 2 mein to aap dekho ge ki kya finally finalize hua, what our labels look like and what the entire process behind logistics, shipment, website, so much more is there to show and share with y'all. And finally we'll be launching and sharing the final products with y'all on the 3rd of December at 9pm our website goes live and at 8pm I will see you here on YouTube on my channel to share my final products with y'all. I'm so excited to do this with y'all you guys. It's been a journey and a half and finally it just comes down to talking to y'all about it. For today's video, my Sarah Squad shoutout goes to my entire Sarah Squad. Y'all are literally the reason I'm here. Y'all are literally the reason I can tell and share everything with y'all on this platform. I come and sit so freely to tell y'all everything about my life because y'all have given me that kind of comfort and the Sarah Squad I'm building. I love y'all and trust y'all with everything of my life and I'm so, so grateful to have y'all. Thank you so much for being my biggest support and strength on the days that I thought I could not do this. Y'all have given me the strength that Sarah, come on, you can do this. You and I, we hustle together, we hustle together. And you and I, we've hustled together to build this, you guys. I love y'all so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys, love you. Mm -hmm.